So everything you've told me so far is corroborated. There is no lymph node involvement, and there, and the uh, tumor itself is 2.1 cm, which is about an inch in diameter, and the the, uh, the tumor does not invade the local blood vessels or lymphatic vessels, which is very good. Does not invade does the. Does not invade the local blood vessels. Local or, blood vessels or lymphatic or the lymphatic vessels, vessels. Which is very good. Which is very good. Okay. And the left breast is normal. Nothing malignant in the left breast. But it's not what I would call a relatively benign tumor because it doesn't have any receptors for the different hormones. So it's now called a triple negative tumor. Triple negative meaning that it doesn't have a receptor for estrogen it doesn't have a receptor for progesterone, and it doesn't have any epidermal growth factor uh, expression on the surface. Epidural growth expression? It doesn't have that. You said it doesn't have that. It does not have So that, that. means, that particular part means what? When you say uh, it, it does... It makes it into a... Hormone treatment wouldn't do you any good. Okay, hormone treatment won't be that no. good. So you're going to need to have chemotherapy. I'll need to have chemotherapy. And the chemotherapy... I think you should have it. Okay. And it's not easy. Okay. So I've heard. Huh? So I've heard. Yeah. Not easy. It doesn't have that expression of the thoroughness. That means that they can't... It, it, they don't know where it's coming from. Is that what it means? Or? No, no. Because it's not coming from even the. If it, even if it had estrogen receptors or progesterone receptors, that makes it closer to normal breast tissue. Mm. But this is not. Doesn't have a receptor for estrogen. Doesn't have a receptor for progesterone. It's a more common type of breast cancer that's seen in African Americans. Uh, and it's not really influenced much by the BRCA1. But it also means that you need chemotherapy. Mm -hmm. and, and the chemotherapy will do what? If there, and there's no evidence there are any tumor cells in your body, but there could be because we can't see single cells. Mm. So it, the objective is that it kills any tumor cells that are around that we don't know about. Mm. Because by definition, cancers have a tendency to spread. Mm -hmm. And although they don't see any spread in the lymph nodes, that doesn't mean that it could not have spread someplace else by the bloodstream. Mm -hmm. So if, and what we will do is to get some pictures of you uh, and then realistically moving from there it just makes common sense because when you even if you have no lymph nodes involved chemotherapy improves the survival because there could be 
a few cells someplace else in the body that got there through the circulation, not through the lymphatics, and they show up later, then that's not good to happen. Mm -hmm. So in fact, what we'd like to do is cure you and get everything done that can be done so that tumor cells never come back. Mm. So something like that, um, okay. Chemotherapy. Okay. With your with with your experience and something like this in this case, how how many sessions, how long chemotherapy? Or I know you you had talked about taking pictures. You taking pictures of taking pictures of of, of your whole body. Oh, okay. You know what we would do realistically is give you some radioactive sugar mm -hmm. and tumor cells pick up radioactive sugar so if we saw something we would know that's likely to be already something that can be seen what I would hope is we saw nothing because then that would go along with the fact that you don't have any spread of the tumor and there's no evidence that you have spread of the tumor but that would just be the kind of testing that would be done. And then I'd outline a program of treatment that you needed, and over the course of maybe a week, your insurance company would say, okay, yes, she can get that course, they'll pay for it. And then we would start giving it to you. You would need a small reservoir put under the skin so that you didn't have to be stuck repeatedly because the drugs are so strong that if you got stuck repeatedly and it went outside the vein, it would kill normal tissue. So what we do is to put a reservoir with a little tube on it that leads into your bloodstream in the big veins in your body and uh, wind up uh, treating you through that reservoir and then a nurse can easily stick the reservoir and you don't have to worry about it getting outside the vein. Okay. That's a standard procedure. Didn't, uh, it says, it looks to me here as though uh, 